Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode, or the first episode, of Toukiden Kiwami. This is a Monster Hunter-like game that seemed right at my wheelhouse, it's exclusive to PS4, and it is um, a demon hunting game. So let's start a new game right away. I have a couple old games because I tried to record, but for some reason the recording didn't function, and now I'm recording again. Doesn't matter too much though, I'm going to be female because I like being female in this type of game. I know the voice I want, it is around this one, I'm pretty sure. Or not. Okay, I like number seven. Slightly darker skin, just around there. Um, face. A tiny bit more serious than that would be nice. Come on, get some serious eyes going on here. That's serious-ish. Okay, come on, give me some, give me some eyes that I actually want to deal with here. Hmm. There we go. I'll go with five. Hairstyle. What do I want? They have like 20 different hairstyles. How about something that would actually be... Yeah, okay. I, I like the big up ponytail. And my name will be... Yesik, as that is my regular name. And I, and I like consistency. Perfect. So, what is this game? It is, like I said, considerably like Monster Hunter. Um, except you fight demons and it has a few key differences. The weapons are similar, but it's a bit more more um, stylistic in terms of how the fighting works. I'm going to be using the Naginata here. Um, I'm pretty sure they've actually changed the names for a lot of these because I'm fairly certain a uh, uh, bow, a uh, chain and sickle is called a... Uh, uh, I forget what it's called. It, it has a name in Japanese. And... Um, I'm pretty sure it is not Chain and Sickle, and I'm fairly certain this has a name as well, even though it's not usually that big. Either way, I'm going to use the Naginata. Um, I've also wanted to actually take up the Naginata, but they're incredibly hard to get a hold of in Canada. Like, it, it's impossible. Just that, let me put this back on my ear. Um, this game does have a bit of a story, and it is a bit more engrossing than the story for, let's say... Monster Hunter 3, which is basically, hey, hunt some monsters. And the reason for that is that the characters are actually a tiny bit more engrossing. When I say a tiny bit, though, I really mean a tiny bit. It's, it's not that interesting so far. So far, so not interesting. As the expression goes, I'm moving my microphone a bit closer to my face here. Get some better sound quality going on. And I will kind of sit through these. Um, this game is developed by Ko Koei Studios. Koei Studios? I don't exactly know how to pronounce them. I'm fairly certain they're all right with YouTubers, so I, I should be fine showing you guys the cutscenes. Um, although I'm not entirely sure about that. So, some of the main key differences between this game and Monster Hunter. Um, you have limited items. As in, you don't have a whole inventory, you basically have four different abilities that you can assign, that you can use with your weapons. Um, you can, like Monster Hunter, but also unlike it, you can, um, I'm, I'm waiting for the dialogue to finish here. Like Monster Hunter, but also unlike it, you can target specific parts, except these parts are more like the legs or the wings, and you can cut them off and then claim them as your own. If you don't do that, the monster will, like, reattach them, and you, if they don't have a leg, sometimes that can be a pretty massive disadvantage. So, specific body part targeting is much more encouraged than it was before. Which is pretty interesting, if you ask me. Um, one thing I'm not a big fan of, as far as I know, there are only 15 large monsters in the game. I'm not sure if they plan to add more as DLC, but I kind of hope they do. Because um, so far I've really been enjoying the game. I haven't played it much. I wanted to play it only with you guys, but that didn't happen because the recording failed so badly. It failed so bad. It's driving me mad. It's driving me mad. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. The, then per chance it is. it may be time to dream? Yes, I think so. Excellent. A dream of a battle from the distant past. A dream of a cataclysm from the future. Okay. Sounds... Could this be the bearer of our hopes? It could be. I don't know. Do I look like a bearer of hopes to you? Tell me that his face doesn't bear hopes. I don't know what I'm talking about. So... So Katoa. 
By the way, this game is online, like Monster Hunter, it does have online multiplayer. I might be interested in doing some streams with fans if I have enough people who actually own the game. Oh, Destiny update and file installed. I don't even like Destiny. You can go away, please. Yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is the main setup for the game. Uh, if you'll R1 you run, you are surprised, you're confused, you have every right to be. But also if you hold R1 you can cast spells, Might, Recovery, Carnage, Leech. I'm going to instantly go with Carnage. But one of the interesting things about this game is like the vision mode. If I press Option, it opens my eyes and I can see which parts of this monster can be cut off or damaged. And I can also see its health, health bar in general, which I actually don't like. I feel like that's kind of cheating, but that's just my, um... That's just my Monster Hunter talking there. So, uh, two different attack types, or three different attack types with the Naginata here. I have this, um, charge forward attack, which allows me to kind of dash forward a tiny bit and do a heavy attack. I have my special move. I'm going to increase my attack real quick here. Carnage time. So, and I have my special move, which takes up some of my bar you see to the left of my health there. Oh, okay, that sucked. Um, I didn't actually mean to go into the air there, but it seems to have worked out for me. So they encourage striking one limb more than others, more than Monster Hunter does. And Monster Hunter does really actually encourage that quite a bit. So the square attack is a weak attack, the circle attack is like a special attack. And you can combine them into different combos, although I do not know the combos yet. Oh my god, okay. I'm doing really badly on this. I'm assuming they've given me like a really sweet armor loadout in this game so far. And of course X is the evade move because it wouldn't make sense for anything else to be the evade move. Although if you've already pressed a button in a combo you will finish that attack before you're capable of evading. So it's best not to like button mash and tap the button. It's best to um, make every individual strike quite, well, individual. Say the least. So let's use a might thing here. Um, I can reopen my eyes to see how much damage I've done to this foot, and the answer is a lot. I've actually taken out its foot entirely, and now I'm taking out its everything else. So let's, let's use my special real quick here. So it's asking me to strike more. I'm not sure why. I think um, last time I did this, it ended the dream. Okay, done, 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 done. Dun 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 In the distant unreality of a dream The Slayer's worth has been proven We must have faith It doesn't really fit, does it? Oh well. Yes we must. So if you have played Monster Hunter, it is a very familiar type of game. There are a lot of things that are incredibly similar. And um like, you go to your house to equip new armor, new weapons, grab items. Um, in all honesty, I said there were no items, but I'm not sure if that's the case. I know there are spells to recover your health. I haven't really seen too much of the game. I actually have this game for weird reasons. Like, I, w I was looking on Amazon for games that were coming out soon, and this was on there, and I was like, what's this? And it said it was released on the 31st in North America, but then I just went into GameStop to reserve it, and they were like, oh, we have it. So, I have it. I'm sure you're tired after your long journey. My name is Yamato. I'm the district captain of the Slayers in this village. Let me welcome our newest addition. This is Oka. She'll now show you the ropes. Hello, Yesik. Nice to meet you. Uh, well, are you sure I actually look like I know how to handle myself in battle? Or am I just carrying a fucking Naginata and you're like, eh, probably knows what I'm doing. Have accommodations? Go and settle in first. We'll explain, explain about duties later. Oka, lead the way. Yes, sir. Come on, follow now. Before I change my mind, why should I die? See the saga through and do the things you ask me to. Let them hit me, hurt me, burn me, nail me to a T. I'm, I'm a fan of that musical. Yeah, good music. Good um, hippie rock. Lots of good hippie rock going on. Hip rock from the sun. It's like the third rock from the sun, but more hip. Welcome to Yukata Village. Utaka. Utakata. Utakata. As a Slayer base, we serve at the forefront of the battle against Oni. Though normally this is a nice quiet place, once you've settled in, take a look around the village. Now I'll show you to your house. Follow me. Set me free. Um, something, something, something. Let's escape from the city. 
I know. Well, not entirely accurate. I'm actually originally from the north. I was born in Yellowknife, so definitely not from the from the east. Don't worry, you'll get used to living soon enough. Anyways, here's your house. We got a word you were coming and fixed it up as best we could. Took a lot of hard work, you know. That was a bad joke. Like, that just wasn't a good joke. You need to lighten up a little. You need to learn a sense of humor. That joke sucked and you laughed at it. This house has been empty for a long time. Use it as you see fit. You should have all the basic necessities, but check and make sure. So this is the weapon rack. As you can see, I can change equipment here and I can change into any type of weapon that I would like. And I'm sure there's like an upgrade system and a skill tree. Um, there is my armor. If you go to next page, you can see that I have a Slayer set active boost, and that's for having the full set, and it marginally increases defense. So that's something I'm going to want to be getting rid of eventually. Um, headgear display. Another interesting thing is when you cut off the... I'm not sure if I mentioned this, I might have. When you cut off a limb on a big monster, you have to like stand there and claim it for a little while, and the more of your party that does that, the faster it will be. Or else they can just stick it back on, which is pretty cool pretty metal if I do say so myself um, this I forget exactly what it is but it told me at some point this is our item thing this is like our missive board which pretty much just tells us of our assignment which is we have to defend the Midlands from Oni right now so no doing that and this is our save point which I might as well get around to doing right now so there are small demons and large demons um, oh I, I did not mean to do that there we go, playtime 11 minutes, let's, let's, let's get this started. I'm coming up, so we'd better get this party started. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Are you ready for the next step, step on tour? Yes. Our supply lines have been compromised, so we can't always get what we need. But we can always get what we want. Our luxury fucking business is set. We got that shit on lock. Anyways, but like the rest of us, you'll have to make do. Now then, if you'll follow me... Oh no, the alarm! It appears to be going off. An alarm bell sounds in the distance. Morning bells are ringing. An attack. We'll have to do this later. Come with me. It's time to fight. So, as you will see very shortly, it is very much like um, Monster Hunter. There's even a guild counter back there where we accept our missions. A group of low-level Oni. They're heading straight for the village. I want all hands ready to intercept. Yes, I know you just arrived, but I want you out there too. Go with Oka and keep the Oni from reaching the village. Let's see if you are worthy of calling yourself a slayer. Cool digs. Hmm, I like the look in your eyes. You must be become a demon who slays demons to protect the human world. Change into demon slayers to protect the demon world. Sorry things happen so quickly, but this is what life is like here. Um, the world is overrun with Oni. By devouring souls and destroying time, they seek to turn our world into the other world. Most of our land has already been taken, so many precious lives have been lost. Thank you, Mrs. Exposition. <laughs> uh, you think my character would have actually known that. So, kind of explaining it to us is a bit useless. How would I do that, though? How would I tell that in a story? I would show. I'd be like... I'd have, like, some sort of demon actually distorting time and be like, Oh shit, they're distorting the sp space. Let's kill them quick before they do it for They do the whole thing. I don't know. Something like that. Let's register at the desk over there. Because in a world like this, you'd think there would be no everyman who needs everything explained to them. And the, the job of the protagonist, as it is said. Um, I, I know it's protagonist, by the way. Don't get mad at me for saying protagonist. Nice to meet you. My name is you. I keep track of the missions that each slayer had engaged is engaged to carry out. When you head out on mission, please please register with me first. You can head out for the battlefield through the exit. I, I know where the exit is. Let me take the mission. Please make it back safely. May the light of heroes illuminate your path. Definitely a rip off the guild marm, but considerably nicer and less of a douche bongler. Do your best. Excellent. So another difference between this and Monster Hunter is there are NPC companions. Like I said, you can play online but you can also just drag your NPC companions with you. So I don't actually know what this does right here, but I have prayed at it. So an interesting thing about this is um, this vision is you can actually see secrets as well. That gate is currently locked over there, so I'll just be going through this one right... Oh, oh, not what I meant to do. So I'll just be going through this one. There we go. Lovely. I can also 
You can see Oka is currently on defensive. You can also change that somehow, but I don't know how. Oh, and you can lock on to enemies by holding R2 and or holding L1, and then you can turn the lock off by holding anything else. And it keeps your vision just centered on them, which is really nice. So even these small demons, when you kill them, you have to go and claim their bodies. So he's down, I'm down, let's actually go and claim here. I got a soil from that guy, and since we're both claiming that was really fast, and another piece of soil. Lovely. So if you um, just tap the L1 button, it actually, I should probably be moving slightly forward here. Okay, are you dead? Are you dead yet? Yes, you are. Might as well, like, double claim here. Tenacious D and the, I mean, Tenacious C and the Pick of Destiny going on there. So that bar that's next to my um, name, I don't actually really know how to feel it. Okay. Yes, I'm performing the Ritual of Purification. You don't have to tell me everything. I know what's what. I was actually trying to use my special there, it just didn't work out too well. I'm pretty sure you can use the special whenever and it just takes your stamina. Let's actually go ahead and lock on to a thing here. Try to kill these guys as quickly as possible or in as large a groups as possible. These two are ready to purify. You can actually purify more than one thing at once if you stand right in between them. So as you can see there, I just got two tenacious claws. And I'm liking the battle system. I find it's a... Like, it's slower but faster at the same time. So let's get the abdomen and grab whatever this is. Another abdomen. I'm getting so many abdomens, you would not even believe. All the abdomens are belong to me. I realize my face is blocking off a bit of the map, but that was the best place I could find to put my face. I could make it smaller, but I think you're only currently getting one area blocked off. I am. I'm, I'm not doing too well here. It's because I have recently discovered the lock-on function, and I'm not very good at it. That's my problem. I need to get better at locking on. So you see that big bar there that is currently filling beside my team? That is actually a group attack. Again, I do not know exactly how that works. It has not been tutorialized for me yet. Let's claim the body. Claim the body by doing a purification ritual. You can't claim them if you make... They can't claim you if you make them dead? I don't know. They can't revive. Yes, if you don't reclaim them in time, they will just straight up revive. So, are you dead? Yes, you are. Excellent. Party time. Excellent. I'm liking it. Interminable darkness. That's kind of darkness, really. Are you sure you want to give that up? Really? The gift of summoning Matama? Thanks for the quick explanation. That's what I was kind of waiting for. So I'm pretty sure Matama are what give you the magical abilities in combat that I was using during my first battle. It is imperative that you use it wisely. Excellent. Will do. Leaving battle in 30 seconds, so... Just like um, Monster Hunter, when you're done the mission, it will leave the battle very shortly. I will quickly give you guys a look at this whole map. Thing is, um, my actual buffs are in the bottom left corner, which I where I could also put this. Maybe I will put it down there. You guys don't need to see my buffs. I can show them to you at some point. God, Slayers of Demons, Guardians of the Eyes of Truth. That's what the people call us, really? Not just like... Sod, S-O-D. Like, usually people abbreviate shit, they don't make it longer. Guardians of the Eye of Truth, was that actually what it said there? Jesus. So I've got a lot of things, I get the option to sell them, but I'm just going to be storing them all. Oh, I forgot, the problem with my map, my um, image being in the bottom left is that I'm actually playing looking at the screen that you guys are looking at. Oops, I'm fated to wage war against the demons of this world. Well, good for you. I, I, I hope you enjoy that fate. I'm fated to do what I want. And what I want is shoes. I don't actually want shoes. Although, well, maybe I could use a new pair of shoes. A Mitama on your very first mission. I've never heard of such a thing. Do you know whose Mitama you released? Um, yes, because I've already played up to this point, and only up to this point, I know it's this guy. A hero of the Heian period. 
said to slay Oni, a fitting Mitama for you. A slayer resides in the shadow of history, a secret Oni fighting force. Our souls communicate, commune with Mitama, and their special abilities help us in battle. And now you are one of us. You can make it if you try. You are one of us. I hope you're ready. I'm getting busier from here on out. Let's go report our success to the captain. Excellent. You're back. Welcome back. I'm so happy you're safe. Thanks, you. We took care of the Oni, sir. You did your duty admirably. And you, you did well for a new recruit. We live under a constant threat of attack. Our lives are always at risk. That's our reality, Yesik. Where do the Oni come from? Why are they compelled to attack people? No one knows. But we must fight, or the human world will be destroyed. Even if the fight continues for all of eternity. Live to fight another day, Yesik. You understood, man. Hmm, well, good. You performed well. You have what it takes to be a slayer. Do I have what it takes to defeat the Hun, though? Or have they sent me too many daughters when I ask for sons? Or women can be pretty awesome fighters. Um, Yesik, I hereby officially declare you a slayer. When I was in karate, I had a senpai who was like maybe five foot four, and she was intense. I would, you would try to hit her, and she would like throw you and punch you two times in the air, and then you'd hit the ground, and you'd be like, oh, and she'd punch you in the ribs, and you're like, Jesus, stop it, it's overkill. It was, it was kind of brutal. So win this war against the only. Also, it appears you have formed a bond with the Mitama. Yes, it's this guy. Mysteri oh, a mysterious twist of fate. You are now responsible for not one, but two precious souls. The first is your own, the other is the soul of the great hero you released from the Oni. We call these great heroes Mitama. You should pray to you should pay Shikimi a visit. She will teach you how to look after your Mitama. Shikimi can be found at the shrine in the village square. Lovely, I will take my leave now, sir. Alright, good work today. Yes, be sure you introduce yourself to Tatara and Sh Shusu Shusui. Shusui. I'm really bad at pronouncing Japanese words because I always try to pronounce them in a French accent. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Shusui as well. Tatara forges our weapons at the smithy. Sushui, Sushui is an intelligence analysis. An analyst. Give them my best when you speak to them. Will do. But this is actually where I'm going to call the episode for today because I have finished a mission. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. And remember that, um... And remember that comments and subscribe and um, likes on the first video of a series show me that you like it or you don't like it. Uh, also, if you really, really enjoyed it, please consider supporting my Patreon in the link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.